What's going on, Decred community? Welcome to a new bi-weekly news update for all things Decred. Once again, thanks to the stakeholders who approved this program. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content. Today, we're going to start with news from MetalPay. MetalPay is an app that makes it easy to buy, sell, and send cryptocurrency with USD pairs. I'm happy to announce that they have now listed Decred. Here's a quick look into it. With MetalPay, you can pay people instantly using your cash balance, linked bank account, or by sending cryptocurrency. Every time you make a payment, you earn Metal, the app's native currency. Through the marketplace, you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies, now including Decred, directly from your cash balance. Users have reported it's easy to sign up and use, only requiring quick verification. The app is available on Android and iOS. This service is available in most US states. Decred devs continue to improve existing systems and build new ones. Let's dive into some of the development updates. The first order-driven atomic swap trade on testnet was coordinated by the DEX. It's great to see the DEX go from being an idea to an approved proposal to now working on testnet, a true testament to Decred's development and funding cycle. Accessing the CoinShuffle++ server as a Tor hidden service was documented on docs.decred.org. CoinShuffle++ is of course DCR's new privacy feature that should be hitting Decredit on sometime this year. There's a revamped send page for the iOS DCR wallet and a new wallet selector widget for the transactions page along with multiple tweaks and fixes for both iOS and Android wallets. On CMS, users have the ability to assign proposal ownership, which will be used in upcoming changes to let proposal owners see what was billed against their proposal. CMS has also been redesigned and now has a dark mode. Support for cold staking was added to Decrediton, among other tweaks. CoinShovel++ support is in development as well. In addition, there were tweaks and code improvements across most repos. Decred dev Marco Piraboom tweeted out a link to GitHub showcasing his progress on decentralizing the Decred treasury. Project lead JYP said in chat, the rough plan is for version 1.6 to get released at the end of the second quarter, which is about the end of June. We're planning to include decentralized treasury consensus change, Decrediton staking, and non-staking CoinShuffle++ support, ticket-based VSP support, and a myriad of DCRD improvements. Decred was also mentioned in some news articles and had some awesome media generated for it. Let's take a look. I was on the latest Decred in Depth podcast hosted by Mr. Black talking about community management and marketing. Here's a peek. I would say marketing and cryptocurrency is extremely difficult. And I, I think the community feels the same. Uh, marketing at this point in crypto is, is basically the magical number go up. You know, the exchange rate goes up and people get excited. But I, I feel like what the project's doing by just constantly putting out quality media is, is probably the best approach. Yeah, I agree. There's, there's no silver bullet for the bear. It's like you know, the, the marketing proposal got some kickback and um, there's just no stopping, you know, a global crisis or mm -hmm. a deep recession. It's just CCs are going to feel it. There was also a new rough consensus episode titled Gold, Bitcoin and Decred talking about the sound nature of money. Bitcoin commands the majority of the value and liquidity in the space. But, you know, with that, just like the last bull market, right, people pile in and then there is exploration. It's just natural, right? And people will end up landing in other stores of value potentially in the cryptocurrency space where they actually find the most assurance. And I think that's where I think, you know, when you start talking about Decred, it's actually pretty unique in that regard. And it's a great, you know, side, you know, uh, you know, Robin to Bit Bitcoin's Batman for the time being, right? Yeah, most definitely. And I, I think for, for, for Decred, you know, it falls into that basket of, you know, it is speculative, right? And and this market is speculative. It's driven by speculation. I don't think that the whole world is going to lump all of their eggs into one basket. Chinese news site 8BTC published an article titled Cryptos and Coronavirus, What We Learned from Foreign Communities Where They Interviewed Various Project Leaders. Decred's project lead Jake Yokampayat said, inflation undermines the value of anyone holding fiat currency denominated assets. And I expect this will drive interest in cryptocurrencies, particularly particularly those with deterministic and finite issuance schedules like Decred. He also touched on Decred's unique decentralized contribution model stating, how things work out with COVID-19 is still very much uncertain, so a post-COVID-19 world depends very strongly on what happens. What is certain is that the ability to work on remote is rapidly becoming more important, and this is something Decred already excels at. The economic pain of various quarantine policies will continue to damage business models that depend on large amounts of leverage and credit, so cryptocurrencies like Decred that are self-funded will continue to operate smoothly. If you'd like to get a better insight on Decred's contractor model, definitely check out the recent DCR 101 video I put out talking about it. An article from Cointelegraph titled Proof of Stake vs. Proof of Work, Which One is Fairer? had comments from Jake arguing hybridizing the two allows Decred to benefit from best of both worlds. The Proof of Work side works well as a means to gamify timestamping and thus ensures immutability, but Proof of Stake is still needed to align incentives for governance. Decred contributor Richard Red was also featured on Finance Magnets, ensuring those new to remote work that they should be able to get used to it fairly quickly. 
Decred was also mentioned in Coindesk as an organization that has already been working remotely successfully for years. Phoenix Green wrote up an article on Medium.com titled Finance 2.0, where he talks about researching investments in crypto, looking at a few different variables. He concludes by saying, from my current research, it is obvious that Decred is one of the most undervalued projects in the space. Decred is currently my number one hold and has the development and funding potential to become increasingly valuable as the space matures. The Now Payments payment processor that was launched in 2019 by ChangeNow now supports Decred among four 40 other assets. Decred Power was released by Rayday Group. This is a huge resource hub for the community and future newcomers. This greatly shows the strength of resources offered around Decred. The website is well organized and structured, definitely check it out. Contributor B put together a great wiki page on GitHub giving answers to the general misconceptions people normally have about Decred, such as Decred is a fork of Bitcoin. The answer is no, it is not a fork of Bitcoin. Check it out to learn why. Now it's time to take a look at Decred's off-chain public proposal system Politea. There were two new proposals submitted for discussion, two proposals that finished voting, and one proposal that was abandoned. First up is the high-profile billboard marketing campaign from Remio. This proposal requests $24,450 to run a billboard marketing campaign with 50 billboards in Hollywood and West Los Angeles for four weeks to build brand recognition and meaningful growth. Remio says as the global financial system continues in decline, an influx of new interest will enter the crypto space. It's imperative we build top of mind awareness to the Decred project to stand out amongst the collective noise. Billboards are non-invasive, cost-effective, and provide a high level of consumer exposure. Remio believes the LA area to be a good choice for the billboards, as it is home to many wealthy individuals with disposable income and a high risk tolerance for speculative assets. It also has the worst traffic congestion of any American city, which means billboards do get seen by millions of drivers. Romeo says due to uncertainty with COVID-19, billboards are inexpensive. There's an imperative to capitalize on affordable marketing, but also we don't want to launch before quarantine is over. Therefore, he proposes the campaign to take place six months into the future. The cost of this proposal include the billboards themselves, design, printing, and materials. Thus far, the top comment says, Billboards are expensive, they also only have a short viewing time, so they can't be used to provide a complete selling pitch for a product, especially something as complex as Decred. Brand awareness says nothing if there isn't something else to move people into action. In summary, billboard advertising to the general public is too early at this stage. Other commenters expressed support, saying, I like the idea and would vote yes, and I love this proposal. Though overall, many expressed concern over whether this is the appropriate time for something of this nature. Remio defended himself by saying, in LA, Bitcoin and blockchain are no longer abstract buzzwords. We're home to hundreds of crypto startups, meetups, and we also host the LA Blockchain Summit. The Summit and LA Blockchain Week are scheduled for October, so the billboards could galvanize overlapping interest. Second is the Decred Content Marketing with Crypto Noticias proposal. This proposal requests $5,900 US dollars for a content marketing campaign with Crypto Noticias, a popular Spanish language cryptocurrency news site. Items covered by this budget include a Cryptopedia page, tutorial and video, and two search engine optimization articles to be published as sponsored content on the Crypto Noticias site. Crypto Noticias says by doing this investment, the Decrypt community will receive a long lasting increase of Spanish users due to the publication of evergreen content in a highly visited and respected crypto news outlet. They also claim a reach of 400,000 monthly users spread across South America. Thus far, comments have expressed scrutiny over the size of their following, noting that their tweets have gotten little engagement and whether or not it's right for the Decred project to pay for news articles. Crypto Noticias responded by including more metrics of their community size and stating that they would be unable to generate this media for free, needing treasury funds to make it happen. The Polis Pay app proposal has not seen any activity in 25 days, nor was it put to vote by its author, therefore it has been marked as abandoned. My speculation is the author decided not to go through with the proposal as none of the initial comments were supportive. The DCR comic, a visual guide to Decred Season 2 proposal failed to pass quorum, with only a 19% voter turnout. There were 3,926 yes votes and 4,009 no votes. The Decred Daily Initiatives proposal also did not hit quorum with only a 17% voter turnout. 3,066 votes were cast for yes and 3,938 votes were cast for no. There was also some research updates from analysts Checkmate and Permable Nino. Permable Nino released a new research article titled Decred Onchain, Strongest Hand Market Cap and Ratio where he continues his on-chain research to include ticket funding rates, holder conversion, and valuation for a fairer price that differs from typical markets. He concludes the article by saying, Decred's on-chain data continues to show a level of coherency that doesn't cease to impress. From tickets to standard transacting to block rewards and all three combined, the rabbit hole shows new depth upon each free visit. Checkmate had an awesome tweet storm showing the world just how secure Decred is against a 1 hour 51% attack, with Decred being 54 times more expensive to attack than Bitcoin. 
He bases these figures off the new 51% attack chart from DCR Alpha. Now let's take a look at statistics for supply, staking, mining, nodes, and exchange rate for the month of March. 30-day average ticket price was 141.9 DCR. The price varied between 130.9 to 166.8 DCR. The locked amount was 5.5 to 5.75 million DCR, which corresponds to 49 to 51% of the available supply participating in proof of stake. The ticket price topped at 166.82, which is again a new high since the stake difficulty algorithm changed. Throughout March, there was an average of 146 public listing nodes and 246 total nodes per DCR farm. The most used node version for March was DCRD version 1.5.1 with 28%. This is the latest version, followed by DCRD version 1.4 at 20%. Reminder, it's important to upgrade your software to the latest version version 1.5.1 if you haven't already done so in order to not be forked off the network. If you're interested in helping support the network by running your own node, I'd highly recommend Checkmate's Raspberry Pi Guide. There was also community growth across most media platforms, which is good to see considering the current financial situation. This month, the blockchain size grew by 129 megabytes. Dcard users made 49,078 regular transactions and bought 44,149 tickets. 43,791 tickets were rewarded for voting, and 728 were revoked. In March, DCR was trading between USD 8.68 to 19.78. In BTC, it traded between 0.0017 to 0.0021. The average daily rate was $13.40. March's hash rate opened at 359 petahashes and closed at 309 petahashes bottoming at 274 and peaking at 556 throughout the month. And here's a chart showing pool distribution. In March, the Treasury received 13,713 DCR and spent 17,153 DCR. Using March's daily average DCR USD rate of $13.40, this is 184,000 received and 230,000 spent. At February's average daily rate of $20.48, the USD figure bill for work completed in that month is $281,000. As of April 16th, Treasury balance is 628,660 DCR, or 7.85 million USD at $12.50. Thanks for tuning in to this week's news update. If you'd like to learn more about Decred, be sure to head over to Decred.org and also join the chat at chat.decred.org. Remember to keep staking and best of luck to everyone in quarantine. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.